Hi, this is John from Apollo Sprayers. Today we're going to talk about adjusting the air pressure on the Precision 5. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is connect the machine, uh, the air hose, to the spray gun. And next we'll turn on the machine and adjust the pressure. So setting the pressure on the Precision 5 is pretty easy. The first thing we're going to assume is that you've already got your paint in the cup and you've already selected the appropriate size needle, nozzle, and air cap for the particular material that you're spraying. We're going to start by setting the pressure on the Precision 5 to about 2.5 PSI, 2 to 2.5 PSI. Then we're going to slowly start raising the pressure in half PSI increments until we get the perfect intersection between where we have the minimum amount of overspray and the maximum amount of atomization. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the machine on. We have the hour meter and then we'll rotate the dial until we get about 2.5 PSI. And then we're going to spray. The first thing we're going to do is adjust the material. And we're going to open up the material screw about two turns or one half a turn. OK, so what we're looking at here is the atomization and the size of the particles. And as you can see, you've got large particles around the edge and finer particles as you move in. So we want to go adjust the pressure until we have all the particles in the even amount of uh, and even sizes. So let's go back and we're going to adjust the pressure one more time. We're going to increase it by a half a PSI. So two and a half didn't work, so let's go up to three PSI. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so we've raised it to 3 PSI. Let's give it another spray. And it's gotten a little better, but we still have quite a bit of uh, uneven particle sizes. So let's go back to the machine and we'll uh, raise it another half a PSI. All right, so 3 PSI didn't work, so let's go up to 3.5. All right, let's try 3.5. All right, so now this is with 3.5 PSI. So we can see now it's starting to get a little more even. We got a little bit less of the larger particles, but we're still not there. So let's go adjust it another half of PSI. We'll go up to four. All right, three and a half wasn't good enough. So let's go up to four. All right, let's give that a shot. All right, so this is going to be 4 PSI. And yeah, we still got a little bit of larger particles around the edge here, so we're going to go another half of PSI. And 4 PSI wasn't quite enough, so we'll go up to 4.5. All right, let's do another spray out. Okay, so this is 4.5, 4.6 PSI. Ah, oh, it's getting getting pretty close now. We got a little bit down here at the end, but all of the uh, atomization here in the middle is all pretty even. So we just got to clean it up. So we have another half a PSI or so, we should be good to go. All right, and we're going to keep going up. So five PSI is next. Give that a try. Okay, so this is 5 PSI. All right, so we still got a little bit more down here at the bottom, so let's uh, do it one more time. We'll go up to 5.5. Okay, so 5 PSI wasn't enough, so let's go up to 5.5 and, and we'll give that a try. All right, there's 5.5. Okay, so this is five and a half PSI. Let's see what it looks like. And it's getting a little better. We still need to get a little bit more. You can still see a little bit of here, so I think maybe a little bit more and we should be good to go. So 
Uh, actually, this looks pretty good. So we're getting real nice, even atomization now all the way around the fan pattern. So that would be a really good time. I think we're ready to go. So now you'd be able to make a nice pass. Make sure when you uh, do your passes, you're overlapping 50%, like I'm doing here. That should come out real nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful uh, with setting the pressure on the Precision 5 system. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at the factory at 1-888-900-4857. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.